Hey guys, it's Tash here and welcome back to my channel. So, welcome to our first ever kind of moving vlog. So, we thought we would kick things off with an empty house tour. As I feel like we mentioned in our first video, which if you haven't seen, I'll link it down below. That was just our first part of the process to buying our house. We told you guys that we bought a renovation project. So, you have to take everything you see with a little pinch of salt and... Try and try to what yeah. we want. Kind of thing. Yeah, we're going to talk you through our sort of plans that we have so far and what we want to do to the house. But yeah, bear in mind, it is literally a project where we mean we are literally going to gut the whole house. We're stripping everything, going back to basics. So it was literally like a 1930s house. 30s, yeah. yeah, so bear in mind, it's all very old fashioned. There's like paintwork that like hasn't been touched. Mm. It's just I all mean, very... it literally hasn't been touched since day one. So there's original paintwork, yep. original tiling, everything. Everything you see is what people used to live like, <laughs> yeah. basically. So yeah, it's gonna look a little bit of a state right now, but we, we see the potential in it. Mm. This is exactly what we wanted to do. We wanted to be able to strip something bare, put our stamp on it, didn't we? It's something yeah, we always wanted to exactly do is nice, yeah. renovate a house. This was just a better route for us than going for a new build. So yeah, we're gonna walk you around, show you the empty house tour. <laughs> We've just kind of started to rip up some carpets and that, but yeah, we wanted to kind of show you it a little bit bare and talk you through our plans. And then I guess we can get on to actually showing you guys us renovating the house. Don't know how long the process is going to take, but we're going to bring you guys along for the ride. So yeah. yeah, let's get into our first house, empty house tour. Empty. Ish. Ish. <laughs> okay, so. We are in the first part of the house where you come through the front door. This is just a hallway which leads up to the stairs. So plans for this is pretty much leave it the same. Obviously we're not working with too much space, but we feel like we do want to sort of create something where we can have a bit of storage for maybe like shoes and like a coat hanger. I feel like we're quite keen to do like panelling up the stairs, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Something like panelling. Again, we're going to be keeping it quite minimal, quite neutral. So yeah. We literally need to strip all the wallpaper, plaster, paint, all that good stuff. But yeah, this is just the hallway. Then we head on into here. We are going into the lounge. Be well of what it's going to look like. Here we so go. So we do have some old bits of furniture. That we I mean, it is off. old. In it here. is old, isn't it? It's, we've just ripped up the carpet. So you guys didn't have to see that. But we, I feel like this is the room that we have most a vision for so far, mm. don't we? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely. So in here, we're definitely keen to do a fireplace. So we're going to do a sort of like feature wall here. We're going to have like the TV on the wall. I think we want to do a log burner. Yeah. Log burner. And then I think we're going to create storage. In Either both side. sides. Yeah. We've said a lot of this on Pinterest. Maybe so we should put some on yeah, the screen. Maybe I can put some ideas on the screen. Of what we Just so you guys can see what yeah, we were trying, trying to work with. Try and get the vision as well. It's just that thing. You either can see the potential in somewhere or you just can't. But you can't. I feel like we're just really keen to do it. And I feel like we're going to be able to look back on these clips and be so proud of ourselves at the end. But yeah, this is quite a nice spacious room. It is. Actually. I don't know if the camera's doing it much yeah, justice, to be fair. How but much space there is. Maybe. But I mean, you can see the state. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. Yeah, it's kind of look. Have to read so it needs some work. But that's all right. That's not too bad. Yeah, we've got a nice big window. It's quite light in here, yeah. which I really like. Nice big window. Yeah, nice big room. It's light and we have good plans for it. So I'm excited about this room. I feel like the lounge, I don't know, what room would you say is at the heart of the home for us? It's got to be the lounge. Like the lounge. It's got to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, only probably at the moment because it's where we see the most potential. Yeah, definitely. We're going to make it really cozy. Yeah. So yeah, I'm excited for this room. Then it heads on into here into the kitchen area. But again, we have plans to probably switch up. So again, it's quite a decent size. So we're literally ripping out all the units everything is going plan is we think so currently the sink is in this area but just behind you Marcus, turn uh -huh. around we think we want to add it into this area so we've seen another house on the street they basically moved the sink to here and it just seemed a really good way to make it more spacious and we're really keen to have a dining table it's like one of my favorite things to be able to sit down together and eat dinner so we think if we moved this to over here we could also put the washing machine with it and then actually have a dinner table here in the space so obviously um, that cupboard uh, that cabinet there is going to come out yeah, and then we're going to take yes. that so all of this is going to be open up Would be chain, yeah, and then we'll keep up. that for storage yeah i think it's really there. important to still have a bit of storage space but yeah we're going to come back around to the cabinet area so 
This layout will probably will keep sort of similar, but of course everything is going to change. We're going to get a whole new kitchen, which I'm really excited to go kitchen shopping for. We'll definitely bring you guys along all the shopping trips, but yeah, I think we're going to keep things sort of like, how would you call it, like integrated in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So kind of like keep it away so it's not in show kind of thing. So like the fridge, fridge. like it, not that there's a fridge there at the moment, but, but I think we're going to have it. So yeah, it's like hidden away the same with if we get a dishwasher. Dishwasher, yeah, that'll yeah, be that'll in the be units as well. Stored in somewhere. Yep. But yeah, again, quite a nice space. I feel like we'll enjoy starting to cook our own meals in here. I feel like for us, this house, we definitely, maybe in a few years' time, could see ourselves having children here. Like, I feel like it's good because it is big enough that we feel like we could have a family here, don't we? Yeah, so, for sure. Yeah, this is the kitchen space. It does lead out to the garden, which is actually quite a mess at the moment. I feel Absolute like <laughs> Won't show that for a while. That will probably be last on our list. It's not really high. It's not on there, no, definitely at not. At the moment. But yeah, we probably will show it when we do it up a bit. Obviously we want to keep some things a bit private, a bit of privacy, but yeah, there's a little door there that does lead out to the garden area, which is actually a really nice spacious garden. Something we're again really lucky with. But let's head upstairs and look at the bedrooms. So first room that we have is the bathroom. I feel like this is a little bit smaller than we originally probably would have liked for a bathroom, but again, can't be too picky. It's still not too bad. We have a few ideas with this one, so we might potentially change the layout around a little bit, but we think we are keen to sort of stick with having a bath shower. I love my bath, so I feel like a home is just quite important to have a bath in it. So we will probably do a bath shower setup and then just keep a standard sink and toilet, but we might change the configurement around a little bit. Do you think? Yeah, I think yeah. That's, that's what we want. Well, because you're quite keen to have a mirror. Yeah, I don't And obviously that window is quite big. It's quite big and then quite an awkward. And obviously, area. yeah, it's right above the sink. Yeah. So. Yeah, I'm not too sure what we're going to do with this room yet, but still an alright size. And then we have three bedrooms, so we we'll head on into the first bedroom. It. So, this bedroom, quite nice and spacious again. I feel like we've got the really big windows. It's really nice and light in here. I feel mm. like that's something I really love about this house is how much light we get into it, don't you? Mm, it is, yeah, it's nice. Yeah, and this one, I feel like I might have as my kind of wardrobe room. Sounds a bit extra, but it's something I've always wanted and I'm always happy for me to have yeah. as well. Um, so I feel like I'm gonna do some just sort of like Ikea packed wardrobes in here. Um, maybe just like a little game ready station. You guys know I'm obviously really into like my Instagram content, so I'd love to be able to have a place where I can film YouTube videos and film Instagram content. And I just feel like, yeah, with the windows, I'm gonna get so much nice natural light in here. I'm really excited to be able to finally have my own space to actually film my content. So yeah, I'm really, really excited about this room. Again, you probably can't see much potential. No, it's not. I guess it's, it's not mold at all. It's actually just damp. No, we're actually so lucky with sort of structure of this house. Yeah, example, it's not falling apart, that's yeah, the thing. It's, it's just taking out. it back to its original layer, which is very easily done because it's oh, mostly yeah. just wallpaper. Exactly, it's what I was about to say, for instance, the wallpaper on the wall, we can literally just rip it up. We're back to the basic walls and the same with the carpet. And they came just, out really easy, didn't they? Yeah, we pulled this up just in a few minutes and we've actually got really good floorboards yeah. underneath. Yeah, well, they've never been touched. Never been touched, so we can do what we want with those, whether we keep them as floorboards, whether we carpet. You guys will have to stick along the journey and find out what we do, but yeah, I feel like this is a good spacious room. So let's head on to what would be the master bedroom. So in here, myself and Marcus can see this being our bedroom. So in here, we plan to sort of keep the layout the same. Again, we might do some sort of like built-in wardrobes. As you can see, we have the space mm -hmm. here inside. So I tend to do that. I'm thinking if we come into the room, Maybe like uh, our bed here, maybe we could panel the wall, bedside tables. Again, I don't think the camera's actually did it justice, yeah, it but it's actually it such a big yeah, space. And as well, the room. blue door original, yeah. which is quite crazy to think about. And these <laughs> as well, which I quite like. Tash isn't sure yes. about, but we've got the baker lights, yeah, which I'm actually, really I, think, I think they're quite nice, you know, because not many people will have them in their homes are certainly not starting out. Exactly. You know, they're buying them to, in order to have them, and so. It's actually quite a, yeah, traditional thing. Traditional, yeah. It would be quite nice in some sense to like keep something quite traditional, so. But we'll see, it, de it depends yeah. on how we make it, kind of thing, but we don't know that yet, but. We don't know, but as you guys will probably see by some of the inspire I've got on screen, you will probably get the vision of the kind of thing we like. Luckily, Marcus likes the same sort of style as me. Everything I sort of saved down, he's got in his Pinterest board as well. We have quite a similar style, but 
yeah, definitely very minimal. But yeah, again, a really nice spacious room with a nice big window. Loads that needs doing to it, of course, but I feel like that's going to be the fun of it. I literally cannot wait to be able to do this together. Like you said, yeah, excited. I'm buzzing for it. Yeah. Like at the end, for us to be able to say that we've renovated our own house. This is why it's so nice to do like a video. Yeah. So we can really like, we can look back at it in years to come. Yeah, when, when we do the finished house tour, these clips will be over the top. <laughs> oh, what? Yeah. How did we do that? We need to make sure we get loads of pictures we about that. This is the master bedroom, and we've got one more bedroom. So, like I said, we are quite lucky that we do have the extra bedrooms. Like I say, if we did have children in this house, of course, I could switch up that room into a bedroom, and this one would definitely make a really nice nursery and a bedroom at some point. But yeah, this is the smaller room, but still quite a nice size. So in here for now, we think we might make it a sort of office study. Obviously, I do still work from home, so it would be nice to have just an office area where I can sort of shut away, do my work in there, leave it after the day is done. So probably some sort of desk in here, again, not too many plans at the moment, but I feel like once we literally strip everything, we get the walls repainted, new carpets, I feel like we'll really be able to have a vision for it. But yeah, another nice size room, so I feel quite blessed that we do have the three bedrooms. As you can see, it's really nice and light and airy still. This one probably is the best bedroom actually. Yeah, this is the, the nicest three. one out of the three, yeah, it is. Yeah, like the walls actually look okay. Yeah. But yeah, that is all the bedrooms. That is the empty house tour. I will definitely be recording the whole journey. I'm really excited to bring you guys along the whole process. So what is our next step? Next step. Just literally like take all the walls back to basics. Yeah, so strip all the walls back, wallpaper off. There's still obviously carpets yeah, that we need in to there and out there. They need to get rid of. Up the stairs obviously needs to come up, carpet. Probably literally like pulling out the kitchen maybe. Pulling out the kitchen units, yeah. Um, there's a lot to do, I don't think there's particularly any order because we're gonna no. the, the luxury of us being able to have this place is obviously we're still living at mum and dad's yeah i feel like i don't know if i mentioned that but obviously like you might be able to tell we are still gonna live at home for a while until we feel ready to move in which is fine because we still are able to do that it is a luxury so with that in mind obviously we can just do a good job of it all yeah. instead of having to rush just because we're yeah, living so in it as well that's the luxury that we have yeah so i'm really excited Hope you guys can also see the potential in the house. It might be hard to see. It might be, but I'm gonna put the inspo on screen. Just know it is a whole project and exactly what we wanted. And yeah, we're excited to put our own stamp on it. So if you guys are excited and do you wanna follow along our journey of renovating this house, I feel like it's gonna be a fun, exciting one. Definitely come subscribe and hit the thumbs up button if you did enjoy this video. Let me know if you have any ideas that we might be able to do in the house. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. And I will see you guys soon for a new moving vlog.